Basic week planned at Youngstown State. Young, uh, Zach Brown Band will be playing Thursday. Classes start Wednesday and today is move in day. 27 First News reporter Christina Mullen is on campus this morning with details of what's planned for the day. Good morning, Christina. Can you keep track of it all? There's a lot going on in Youngstown this week. About 1,500 students are going to be moving into campus today. They're going to be coming here in just about three hours with their parents moving and all their stuff to hopefully spend the next four years here on campus. And if you've been to campus recently, you might have noticed Wick Avenue has been shut down. They've been doing construction on the road. And if you drove down Wick before it was closed, you can tell there was a lot of potholes. The work was definitely needed to be done. Here to tell us all about when you can maybe see those orange cones go away, we're here with the Director of Communications for the University, Ron Cole. Good morning. Good morning. We're actually standing on Wick Avenue that has been closed off for construction for about a year now. You guys have been working with the City of Youngstown to get this repaved and ready for the students to have a smooth drive into campus. When can we finally see these orange cones to go away? Well, we're hopeful soon, but the road will still be closed for the beginning of fall semester classes, so it's important for students to know that. And students that were here last year uh, have already figured out ways to get around the construction. Uh, so the freshman students coming in are going to have to learn that as well. We're really kind of at Construction Central here at the mm -hmm. corner of Lincoln and Wick Avenue because not only do we have Wick Avenue uh, being worked on, which is going to be a spectacular project when it's finished, we also have Jones Hall, we have the uh, roof that we're replacing, so it's covered in scaffolding right now. And on the other corner over here, we're going to have a new apartment complex that's going to open up next fall. And so this is really kind of the hub of all the construction on campus. And so it's definitely an inconvenience, but it's an inconvenience that's going to be uh, definitely worth it uh, as we move forward. Yeah, so those students that will be using that parking deck, they're going to have to use the back entrance. So it's something for the freshmen they're going to have to get used to, but it'll be well worth it once it's all done and they have a smooth, smooth road to go on. But it's a huge week for not only YSU with Welcome Week and Move-In Day, but the city of Youngstown uh, Thursday, the Zach Brown Band will be playing here at Stambaugh Stadium. What's that like for you guys as a university to have that big of a band playing here on campus? Oh, it's, it's extraordinary. Uh, it's, it's a historic event, not just for YSU, but for the city of Youngstown. It's, I believe, the largest concert ever in the, in the Mahoning Valley. We're now nearly 20,000 people at Stambaugh Stadium, and so we're really excited about that, uh, not only for the community, but for our students, and uh, we think it's going to be a, a tremendous asset for us. And parking. You wanted to mention parking. That's going to be kind of ingested, too. Absolutely. Uh, on that day of the concert, which is Thursday, the 24th of August, most of the parking lots, if not all of them, are going to be closed just about all day on the west side of campus. And so uh, people coming here for classes on that day are going to have to park on the east side of campus. And we're confident we have plenty of parking spaces. But again, it's just very important for people to be aware that we are going to reserve those lots on that side of campus for people that are going to the concert. So just be, make sure everybody's aware. Absolutely. So there's a lot going on on campus at YSU. They have new apartment complexes being built, but a new bookstore will be having a ribbon cutting at 10 o'clock this morning. Coming up in just about 20 minutes, we'll be meeting with President Trestle and learning more about what the bookstore has to offer. Reporting live from campus, I'm Christina Mullen, WKBN 27 First News, Saturday morning.